Hey, you be quick skin. No makeup, no nothing. Solo speaks up. I'm a real bitch. Oh my god! I'm a real okay. bitch. I thought you were talking about a real bitch. That's not a real bitch. Right. 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 After the fact. Who told you initially? Emotions run high. Like I said, I might be insecure. Dior, fuck you. Girl, so fuck you. Feel like you. Dior was Girl, fuck you. You're insecure. That's what girl. I said. You know, the truth is exposed. Regardless, I'm here. Yeah. Bitch, Lady I will. No, 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 no. no. You said I was like a drug addict. You sent me the crackhead from Friday, if I'm not mistaken. You are the one who said, it was me, it was me, it was me. But you was being a mean girl, and you was doing all that, and I told you doing too much. Like, you doing girl too much, win. and a bitch give you what you get. Now we don't got your back. Uh, not straight at public school, said Welcome to Rookie Season 1 First Reunion Special. I'm going to sit down with these guys and get to and get into all the things cause, because, baby, we have a lot of questions that need to be answered. I'm Trey Howard, your host, and this is Rookies. Dior, how are you doing today? What's going on? I'm doing well. You doing well? well, well. I, I see you all white. You feeling yes. godly tonight? Yes. Now we're going to get through this reunion calmly today, okay? Okay. I feel like you have a lot of questions that need to be answered. I do. I do. Okay. Definitely, definitely. Fannin, I see you sitting pretty, looking nice. Hey. Any new man or woman in your life tonight? <laughs> not this week. Not the Oh, not this week. <laughs> oh, okay, it's a different, it's a weekly basis. Okay, Solo, I see you. Who are you wearing tonight? I see it's very custom. It's giving belts. It's giving stuff. Yes, who are you wearing tonight? You said what? Who are you wearing tonight? What should we wearing tonight? Like, is it custom? Like, who are you? Who's the designer? Oh, Armani Johnson. Armani Johnson. Yes, I love. Okay, I see the hair. Look, we see the hair miles away. What inspires you to keep doing the different hairstyles? Because, I mean, the different colors. Every episode uh, is a different color. Honestly and truly speaking, it's just based off, like, how I'm feeling and, like, what I want to go for. Yeah. And this blue, I'm actually loving the blue. I think this is probably, this probably has to be like my favorite color. Yeah, like it's matching in the bag. Thank you. And Mr. Quan, I see you over here. Now, we didn't see you at the finale, but we see you today. It's, right. I'm is here. it, yeah, is today the day to. What's going on? What's going on? Answer what's all up? the questions. What's up? What's up? What's up? Why didn't we see you, love, you know, at the end? We'll get into that. We'll get into okay, that. Okay, listen. We'll get into those things. <laughs> okay, well, I'm excited to be y'all host tonight, and I'm excited to see what all things y'all have been through. and answer a few questions that the fans and I want to know because, you know, we have been listening and observing, and we want to know what's the tea with y'all, okay? Let's get it. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Generation Z is in full effect. These guys have their own set of friends, but it's time to see if they can make new friends in Dallas. Let's take a look at when they finally got to meet each other. But what's up You'll with your friends? There. My friends, um... Do they be there? Yeah. All right, I might show up because I do need some friends. So, you know, I don't really like the new, the, the, the new games. Just, they just do too much. That's why I stick to my other circle. I mean, that's me. Oh, how, how do people feel like? What do I do? Me personally, I say speak your mind. Fuck that you already know how I feel. I'm all big shit. If you gotta turn that motherfucker up, turn it up. <laughs> Real St. Louis there. And we in there. Don't don't invite the crew. Thank don't you, bro. <laughs> everybody, I'll probably everybody over there. No, I don't know who. This person is, but I'm kind of excited to see what's who it is. Do your name again? <laughs> solo. Solo. Okay, here. <laughs> this bitch, Dior, act like she didn't hear me say my name the first time. Um, solo. It's only one. Hey, God! Ah! Ah! Okay. Yeah! Where's everybody from? It's I'm from Waco, which is like an hour and 30 minutes away from here. Okay. I'm from St. Louis. Bitch, what you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the shade was for. It's just like, it's too early. We just got started. I just got to look at me. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm from Alexandria, Louisiana. Never heard of it. Burn. <laughs> She's being shady. <laughs> <laughs> She's from I have to match your hook. She's from a small town so. with two stop signs and one real <laughs> It's okay, girl. Your neck's still fat. It don't matter. It don't matter. Oh, it don't, it don't matter. matter. And you walk out that door and you're gonna be blown. It don't matter. But everything on you little. <laughs> hmm. 
Girl, this girl here. Yeah. This girl. But it's okay. We just met each other. So it's a light shade. I like you. Yeah, it's very light. I know. Fuck off fine. Girl, wait a mm. <laughs> That's what it's definitely <laughs> Lord, y'all had had an action-packed season. Was it a personal agenda? Or did y'all have like a goal set in mind for like starting the show or joining the show? Y'all, anybody can answer. Did y'all have like a goal or did y'all like just join the show and like was like well, whatever happens happens? Um, for me, it was just like more so of hey, I'm new to Dallas. I want to get to know new people and explore things in Dallas. So. That was my only thing mm -hmm. about um, getting to know this group. And they're a fun group of people. They're a fun group of people. Anybody else want to answer that question? I would say, I, I would say for me personally, I didn't know what to expect. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of glad that I didn't like go into it with like a certain expectations of the show. Because, you know, you they always say you can't read a book by its cover. And I kind of like had like it painted out like who each person was. And honestly... It turns out to be the total opposite, and I actually turned out to love them, and it was a great experience. So, and I'm a backdoor on that because yeah, that that's kind of where I was at. It was like I didn't know what to expect, but I knew my overall goal was like I wanted to get on the show, I wanted to kind of start something fresh. I'm here in Dallas, like I'm I got a goal in mind, and I'm doing things. So, right, I honestly grew to love everybody. So. It was it was what it was. And besides Solo and Quan knowing each other, did anybody else know or hear about or know of? No. So prior to, I didn't know anybody. Like I no. probably seen them through like passing, no, like going out like, like one day. Day. Yeah, we probably met like no. one or twice, but you know, once or twice. But it was never like a personal yeah. like thing. Like I didn't like know anybody personally. Right. right. So. so it was like a genuine. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, yeah. 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 like everything was genuine. genuine. Okay. okay. I see that Mac wasn't a part of the like first introduction did y'all feel like that was you know cool that he was or should he have been a part of like the being a main cast because i feel like he's a friend of the show like is he like do y'all feel like he should have been a main cast member i feel like he should have been um, a main i definitely, definitely feel like max should have been a cast member because um he was still fun to be around mm -hmm. he you know he brought something that you know other people say that we didn't bring so yeah it was most definitely he he was uh, he most definitely was was fun to be around it i agree, I I agree. Like do y'all feel like if he was a main cast member he would have been, sure. been around more for sure. around yeah. the group for sure. for sure. i feel, feel yeah. like he was he was a part of the whole yeah, honestly like the whole thing it yeah, was right. just the, yeah, I feel like it was the, yeah. the issue. It was just the issue with the <laughs> Not the issue, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was the issue. Here, you say the issue. And, like, <laughs> how he wanted himself perceived. And yeah. so it was just like, he kind of just took a step back. And so... Okay. That I was the only thing. It. But he yeah. was a part of the whole thing. Like, he was a cast member. Like, we look at him as a cast member. We still talk to him. Like, we still chill with him. I still go out with him. Like, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Solo, what was the issue with your asking you what your name was? Because I feel like I already talked... Taught her what my name was, and then she asked him again, so it was just like, what? Just repetitive. Mm -hmm. Girl, I didn't hear you. You did. Did. You did. <laughs> so, uh, you could miss it. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Okay, yes, that's definitely moving on. That's my hoe, that's my ex, and that's my little <laughs> yeah, yeah. We the people need to know what is really going on with Solo and Quan. Take a look at this clip. <laughs> Does anyone happen to know anybody here already? Yeah, me and Solo know each other. Oh, how? Oh. I moved down here in 2019, mm -hmm. and so like we've been linked up since then. Oh, my. So, me and Solo, when I first moved here, that was the first person that I kind of interacted with. That was the first person that I was chilling with. That was the first person I just kind of just allowed in my personal space. Um, and so from there, I, our relationship just kind of evolved into me living with him and um, us just being together, and then just some things kind of just went left. What are you doing? Who? Come on. I'm saying, I'm saying, bitch, I left y'all here. Yeah, I left y'all here. Oh, oh. Where, where was you at? What? Did I say that? I was still kind of drunk from last night, but I mean, like, it is what it is. Okay, so so where your where your where your boo at? Where your last boo at? What, what, <laughs> I don't know. What I don't happened? want to know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with that? What happened with that? Why are you single? Like what uh, happened? Like why are you single? Like what happened with you? 
I mean, mm-hmm. I came out here and I started dating somebody. It was just, okay. I, I think it just happened too fast. I wanted to know what was up with y'all because it was like very mixy. It's nothing, I just don't okay. care. Like, yeah, we just there. don't, yeah. don't see things in the same light. Yeah. So, he got his viewpoints, I got my viewpoints. But we cordial, we here. Mm-hmm. Grab a beat of ass. But. <laughs> yeah, I just don't, I just don't. She, sure about she just like, yeah, I'm sure about her. <laughs> yeah. I know that's your little friend or whatever, but you know, she just took it ass man. I feel like he he's just a hug. You can't change the you know, I thought I could, but very poetic just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So Quan, how do you feel about what you just watch? Um I don't feel no type of way, honestly. I mean, it is what it is. Like being solo, or we we are what we are. Like we and what's we know the, what each other, is that? So we have history. I don't know what to call it. Like I mean, it's no label to put on. It's just like when you know somebody, you love somebody, you just know how to respect them. You know how to be there for them, and you know how to just keep some type of communication and some type of conversation going like you don't want it to be any type of bad blood like it's just like it is what it is it's like i love this person i know this person this person was here for me Mm -hmm. this is and i can only respect it because as a man it's like when you trying to get to where you're going it's like anybody that's on the road that's right there that's fucking with you like it's like okay i got you i got your back like i'm gonna i'm gonna always be there for you like the same way that you was there for me whenever i needed you to be there for me so you miss the relationship I mean, at times, yes, I do. I, I, I miss the friendship more so than anything because that's where we started off as, as friends, and it was just like... And so the the conversation to be able to tell somebody to know something, to hear something, you know, it is what it is, though. Solo, same question. How do you feel about what you just watched? Mm, I really don't feel that way. No way? You so shy. Why are you so shy? I'm really not. Like, you not. <laughs> Okay, do you miss the relationship? Mm, at times, like, yeah. He like my friend, my man, my best friend. Like, all in one. Like, all in one. Okay, so <laughs> if Quan is a hoe, why do you keep coming back? Because I love him, so it's like, you know, you think somebody has changed, but... Will you change? I mean, I'm growing. It's life, like, I mean, I'm young, so I mean, we we are here, like, we all gonna do our thing, so... Okay, so Solo, when you found out that Quan went on a, went on a date, how did you feel? I didn't give no fucks. <laughs> you didn't care? Why? Was I it no mean, competition? You see this? You know. <laughs> okay. Okay, you see this? <laughs> it's never no pressure. No pressure. Okay, and Quan, is the door closed for you and Solo? I don't know. Time or two. Do y'all feel like... Yeah, have y'all been on any dates? Have y'all seen each other recently? I mean, we always see each other, like, we, this is Dallas, it's a right. small city, so we gonna always see each other, like, so. Have y'all seen each other recently? No, like. <laughs> so y'all just been, okay. I mean, yeah. he, he never gonna go nowhere, so. <laughs> okay, he gonna be around. How did y'all feel about the relationship, <laughs> Glenn? How did you feel about, do you feel like they're being truthful, <laughs> that their relationship is a oh, secret? Oh, I don't right. think that their relationship is a secret, however, I feel like that they have so much respect for one another that they just don't want to share certain things with outsiders. That's how I feel about it. Um, I feel like that they do have like a true, genuine connection and a true, genuine love for one another that they just tend to keep certain things that they probably discuss amongst one another mm-hmm. to themselves. And I can only respect that, you know. Although, bitch, I do want to know because it be kind of too much going on. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like, what's going on? But I can respect them, you know. Keep You're twisting his brain like he got something to say. Do you have anything I to have say? have nothing to say. <laughs> no, I don't. For the first time. For the first? For the first. Oh. Nothing oh. to say. <laughs> what? For oh the first time. Guys, for the first time, Mr. York. It's here. Been. It's there. I mean, it's their relationship. And Fanny, did you see yeah. Did you see the chemistry between them? Do you feel like <laughs> yeah. there's something that they could possibly get together on? Like maybe they could be a couple I think they would be beautiful, you know? It's just it's like, if they have this past and they're afraid to move on from it, because that's what I feel as if maybe the case. It's like, so sorry. I don't, I don't want to be transparent. It's, um, <laughs> y'all love each other. And it's just like, if you guys aren't willing to put you guys' differences aside to make it work, y'all need to go y'all separate ways. Quit going back. It's stupid. You're wasting your time. Like, either you gonna love the nigga or you gonna fuck the nigga and leave the nigga. Like, simple. 
<laughs> make make your mind up. Look, it's, it's not only damaging to one party, it's damaging to both parties. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So y'all are fucking with each other's heads for what? If you feel this way, you want to work this shit out, work this shit out. If not, pick up your feelings. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Jess. Well, I hope you guys can find a good close. I see y'all as friends, but maybe y'all can find something better in the future. And with that, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but we will be right back to the first ever reunion special of Rookies. What's up, Tribe? How you guys doing? This is Really BTV. Come on over to my channel and check it out. We have the latest reviews on most of your reality TV and even some scripted shows and regular lives about celebrity gossip and what's going on in the news. Come on over and check me out. party with no pool, brunch with no brunch, the tension continues to flare each week. This time we are introduced to Mac where things begin to turn left. And why was Klein late again? <laughs> Check out this clip. Man. Who are you? I'm Mac. Oh, Mac. Dior, this is Mac. Hey, Mac how you doing? Dior. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out why the tension's so deep. Cause I feel it. What tension you feel? Oh, I feel it. It just. Mm. I'm not gonna answer anything. Okay, don't answer. It ain't for me to answer. I'm not. What one? You want my question left? Uh, uh-uh, don't try to avoid my question. What's your question? I laid a question out on the table. Nobody gave me an answer. You didn't ask a question. I did. What I said, question? why is the tension so thick? Oh yeah, I'm not you answering that question. My question. I said, what tension? Oh. You can't ask a question with a question. Let's go there. I mean, stop until six o'clock in the morning. I, we make, I didn't make it home until six thirty. So you woke yourself up. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. At what time? At eleven thirty. You said eleven thirty. Right. Eleven thirty. And then you went back to sleep. And then you went back to sleep. Then and I then you woke back up at twelve. Well, well. Trying to see how you get like these hours. And, like. <laughs> and I promise you, it, that that's ironic. Then, though. Eleven thirty to twelve thirty was the only that sleep right there was the only reason I am here right now. Dead sleep. sleep. It was only it was dead sleep. Okay, was you was dead. there. Okay. So we like to welcome Mr. Sleep. Mac. How you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm nice to finally meet you with the group. I haven't seen you with the group in some time, so it's it's <laughs> good to Mac see you. Well, <laughs> 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 y'all know what the motherfucking vibes. <laughs> Mr. Champagne Poppy. Okay. <laughs> so at the pool scene. Why didn't y'all get out the pool? Get in the pool. Where was the pool? I didn't. Outside. It was outside. Who yeah. was it? Who event? Who event was it? Fanny. 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 So why didn't y'all do like more of a swimsuit? It was what was a more chilly day. Baby, we wanna break. It was a nobody chilly getting day. in that nasty ass pool. That too. <laughs> so the pool was nasty. <laughs> it was chilly, and the pool wasn't my particular tea. It wasn't crystal clear. Okay, so that's why y'all did it. And she got to really get no food food right after, so. <laughs> I wasn't finna shot where I watch this pool. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Dior, it looks like everybody was getting along, but you started to get shady with Quan about where he's from. Why is that? Um, just a little light shade, just a little fun shade. You know, we were just getting to know each other, so it wasn't nothing major. Nothing major. How did you feel about the, the shade? Were you able to handle it? I mean, as, as you can see in the scene, I was able to handle it. It was fine. Like, yeah. it wasn't nothing. Like, we were getting to know each other, so. Mac, the handshake you and Solo did have each other, it was kind of weird. Do y'all know each other? Because the streets do be talking. <laughs> <laughs> Not the streets. The streets do be talking. Um, ask Solo. Okay, Solo. Let's just ask you. <laughs> the handshake you and Mac had was kind of weird. Do y'all know each other or have y'all known I mean, each other? We've seen each other, we seen each other a couple times, you know, mutual friends. You know. And why you couldn't answer it? I mean, I just felt like that question should have been directed towards Solo. Why well, should have been directed <laughs> to me? Why not? It was 
Two parties. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, you said the answer. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> okay, you were, Quan, you were making excuses for why you were late. Why didn't you just say you spent the night with Cello? That it because it wasn't for nobody to know. Like, it, but well, like, honestly, already talked to Chris. like it was like if you had already figured it out when Solo said it, like you had already got it. So it was like it was no. But tea. you had this whole story. But no, that you the made story up. was still valid. I was still late regardless okay. if I had spent the night with Solo or not. I the, the story was still valid. Like so, I was late. Like had I not got my sleep, so Solo you didn't do left, anything in between that. And, like bitch, I was on. I still was like. I wasn't there. So you didn't do anything between that? No, like, I was there, so it was, do? I live in, if, <laughs> Arlington, Dallas, that's a 30 minute drive. So you went to sleep between 11.30 and 12.30, yes, right? I and you was, woke I, up at 12.30, that was the only sleep you got, right? That sleep right there got you to the brunch. So in between that time, you didn't do anything else. I had to get up. So did, it was fed you did something Did Solo leave in the nighttime or he left that morning? He left that morning. He left that so morning. that's why you were late. He left that morning. That's not why I was late. I <laughs> was late because I went back to sleep. After, after he you did left. what? After he left. Oh, okay. After okay. he left. I went back to sleep. <laughs> so it was just Your like, you leave. Girl. Yeah, yeah what time now. did you actually leave? I'm just trying to figure out if We if, left like right before it was time to like, you know. It was like, it was like maybe a 40 minute, we had like a 40 minute window. He was going straight there and so like, boom. Well, I had so a 40 really, minute I really window, but an hour and 40 minutes, like, that's different. Like an hour and 30 minutes, like it was somewhere in between there, like, cause he had to He really should have beat me. I should have beat him there. Why didn't y'all arrive Cause together. I went to sleep though. Yeah, that went right Because I had to go home and He had to go home and change. He had to go do what he, he had to go do what he had to do. That's how I had to You better take your I got my own car. I got my own car. I don't need nothing. Matt, when you met, bad. when did you meet Quan? Because I just want to make sure we understand the timeline between that. Uh, I met Quan initially that Friday, mm. and then I met him again Saturday. So y'all bond was really close that fast. Not. Nah. <laughs> it wasn't that it was close. It was, it wasn't like we have a best friend, like my best friend, like from my hometown. Friend, it, he friend. went to college with her. Like yeah, they we know stayed, each other. Okay, like, so, like they know each other. Like that. Okay. 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 So when we yeah. met each other, it was like, oh, bitch, we yeah, already, we have something in common. What's okay. going on? Like we already got to link up because my best friend is somebody that he knows personally. So we was gonna have to click regardless. Like it was just like that's my best friend. So bitch, what's up? Okay. Hey. Thank you for having all uh, that cleared up. I just wanted to make sure we all understood what was going on. There has been a lot of zebra talk and lots of kiki moments, but we are all wondering what was in the group chat. Check out this clip. Quan and Solo, you know, used to talk or whatever. And so Quan had already knew him. Okay, no, look at Said they quote unquote met that Friday night. In this moment, do I feel like I'm reaching or being messy? Probably is, but I'm just trying to feel clean in on what's going on. Where'd the photo come from? <laughs> what was the photo of? And what was the photo of? The photo was of a zebra. Continue. Okay, Quan, well, we finished telling the story since you know. I mean, I mean, it's quite clear we're all in the group message, so all of us know we're not gonna play well, dumb. Everybody's not in the group message. Well, everybody except for Mac not in the group message, so it was a picture of a zebra. The photo came from Quan. <laughs> What? I literally wanted to fight Fanny in that moment. Like, it took everything in me not to literally sock Fanny dead in his mouth. Like, what are you doing? When the group chat was cre who created the group chat? So, initially, I created the group chat mm -hmm. just to get to know all of them better. And why didn't you add Mac into the group okay, chat? Okay, so because Mac did not officially come to the pool party, so I we didn't know Mac. Like, he was invited to the pool party, but we didn't officially meet him at the pool party. Mm -hmm. So that's why he was not in the group chat. And, Quan, with you knowing him that Friday, why didn't you just add him? And I, that's the thing. Like, I did, like, I sent his, I sent his page inside the group chat. Like, mm -hmm. it, we had sent it. That's where the conversation came to being a picture in the laughing and like mm. the whole like oh let's key real quick but we were still going to add him in the group chat it was just like we were keying at the fact like, okay oh, this is who the person that was something at the pool party like this is right the, right just so a match like, a face to a name exactly and so i had already knew him so it was like i had messaged him i was like what's your instagram at the time I'm, he, he sent me his instagram i sent him in the group chat add him in the group chat and then before we add him in the group chat they was like hold on wait let me 
then that's when it got to the pictures. Yeah, yeah. Do you why did you feel like it was okay to take a picture of Mac like in public, like with um, his recognition? Or um, so people? honestly, in my truthful, really, it it was an accident photo. Like I was holding. It my was phone. clear. <laughs> yeah, it was clear, and I definitely have other. <laughs> <laughs> it was very girl. So honest, honestly, I, that that photo in that moment was not a photo that I was taking because if I was took a photo of him, it would have been straight up and down. Just honest fact. The photo was sideways, but I honestly did take a photo of him of accident, and I have numerous of pictures that was from in that moment mm-hmm. where I was just taking like random videos and photos, and I did not know that until I actually got in the car and went and looked through my phone. So like a butt dab, but you know. Yeah, and I had because we was outside actually talking, so. My thing on about that, when I was actually going through the phone to try to post a picture, I was looking through all our photos. I was like, okay, well, damn, I have a picture of Matt when we was outside talking because we actually had conversation about, like, how the show was going to go, how the show was running, and things like that. And that's what he asked us. So when Glenn asked, you know, about who is this Mac person because he was not at the brunch, I was like, oh, you know, I looked through the photos that we all took today at the brunch. And I was like, I have a picture of Mac. And that's when I sent the picture of Mac. Mm-hmm. And so the picture, where the picture came from, the angle that it was taken, it was taken at, excuse me, the picture, the angle that it was taken at. <laughs> Do y'all believe uh, it? Hold on. It. It's yeah. a lot of, it's, 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 if you believe yeah, it. you took the picture. Yeah, you took the picture. Like, 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 you took the picture trying to see what okay. she was looking like. Okay, that's so that's honestly, honestly, the way they feel, honestly, the way they feel, I can I can get exactly the honest way they feel, but mm. I know exactly what happened because girl, it was my fault. How, 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 how you take a picture of her? It was an accident. Girl. The picture was too quick. It was too quick. Oh, it's okay. Like, it wasn't like you had got half. It's okay. okay. You got this man. The way I did get a picture. The way I took a picture of a bitch. The way the way y'all feel is the way y'all feel. I know exactly what happened. I didn't I did not take that picture. Do you feel like it was an accident? I really did. Honestly, do you feel like it was an accident or do you feel like it was, you know, clear? Spot on, staged. I feel like it was a little bit of half and half. I feel like you know what I'm saying you you it, it possibly could have been an accident, but let's keep it p. You know what I'm saying you probably know what you was doing in that moment. Like you know what I'm saying you probably did snap the phone. And I and I honestly can uh, agree with your opinion like that. So, but I know exactly what happened. Can so you nobody, apologize? If, yeah, if, yeah. You know, it's it there. There is no. I can I can say this. There is no bad blood between us. As in my perspective, I don't know how the way he feels. Mm-hmm. There's no black blood between us. Okay. And that's just how I feel. Fanny, why did you say Quan sent the zebra picture? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I did not say that Quan sent the zebra you picture. You did say you Quan. Did. No, 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 no. You did no, say no, Quan. No. I'm so you sorry. Did. It may have appeared that way. You sent the picture. That's what you said. So one thing that was well and clear about the group chat was that one person was not in the group pic- in the group chat. So how did the person end up with in sight of the group chat, correct? Right, right. Because Quan so, was the only person who was cool with me. Okay, right, yeah. Quan right. sent the picture. Yeah. So right. Quan sent. Boom. <laughs> how, no. How, how, how did Matt no? Matt, that's Matt, not what the that's no, not what no. picture they're asking. They're asking uh, who sent the picture in the group chat well, of the Z bro. Who told him about the group chat? They saying you said it. It didn't. First of all, I didn't have to tell him. God, but, but, but how else would he know? Oh, oh, but I, okay, that's what he mean. Oh, 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 what oh, do you mean? Oh, you didn't have wait. to tell him what you did tell him. Okay, so listen, I, I have, I have, I have the group chat. Stuff, I, I have the group chat. Let's just post it and see. Post this shit. So we say, okay, Dior says, but don't come around trying to be friendly and get shit, then run it and tell it. And then he sent the picture, and then Dior also sent a picture of Beavis and Butthead. Okay, so then. Don the dude, which is Quan, sent y'all, y'all hell. hell, and then Dior said, no, y'all, like, no, so no, Dior, Dior said, okay, y'all, she it. ugly for real, fanning, baby, they like a zebra, after so you said, after this, I'm done, so after this, I'm done, bitch, sent the picture of the zebra, he sent How? the picture of the that's zebra, that's not my question, I said, I sent the picture, that was my question, I said, I sent the zebra at the trampoline park, I laid my hands on the table and said, I sent the picture to Zebra. That's not okay. what she said, sister. That is what showed. So is that what happened? That's Tell, what okay, showed. Let, let Glenn, what happened? Play it back. I said, we can I, play it back, but I'm, but I'm saying. My but hands I'm were saying, like this. I sent the saying, picture to Zebra. I'm saying no, but when the question came about, they said, who sent the picture? You said, well, why In the original the picture? picture that was being discussed, I'm thinking that it was a picture that was sent to him of the group chat. I'm trying to figure out how he still knows about the group chat. Oh, okay. We're but not on that. We're just the fact that that's the my question. Was, 
Who so, sent the picture? So but we're not. Who about sent the picture? So who really sent the picture? We I know who sent what? Who sent the Look, it's said. there. I said it. Right. No, I own the picture. I've been said it. Okay, okay, okay. I've said this shit. So, Mac, Mac. You sent the zebra and you sent the picture. Like, I'm saying you sent what? The screenshot? I'm trying to find the snake. I didn't screenshot shit. I can show you my phone. Bitch, I don't have to screenshot I'm trying to find the snake. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all I want. <laughs> so who told Mac about the Yeah, that's the who you trying to that's figure out. The question. Don't know. But it seems you like that Quan may you have may have did that. I don't have no Mac. You the only person that I tell you about the group chat. Okay, hold on, Mac. Who sent? Who told you about the group chat? Let's be real. Let's be real. Who told you about the group chat? Absolutely one thousand. <laughs> the absolutely one thousand. Who told you about the group chat? Absolutely Just be 1, honest, 000. like we here. The absolutely one thousand. Uh, keeping it a buck. So bitch, so bitch, so bitch, you are the bitch. So how I see you the group chat? You already knew about the group chat. Yeah, but you already knew about the group chat, right? Yeah. Who are you trying to talk to? Really? I'm a real really? bitch. Really? Oh my god! I'm a real okay. bitch. I thought you was not a real bitch. That's not a real fact. bitch move. Right? A bitch right? Crack After the fact, who told you initially? You wouldn't even know about it if you went like the way. So, so who? So he said that he sent you the own. initial group chat picture. Y'all seen in a clip when I showed him. Oh my! It was no shame in my god. game. He had already knew about it. He had already knew about so it. Who that's not who did the so before me. Yeah. So who? who like like who real because shit. you knew about it real at the trampoline shit. park. So that's what we trying to figure out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real bitch. I'm... Okay. Okay. Who, who showed you first? Who showed you first? Oh before before all of that. <laughs> you. How was it mean? Oh my god. Still. When? You so how you know about the group chat before me? From you. Heart from me? From me. When? Oh, from you. From the, when? Fir- from the first time we filmed? Yeah. You came back and you showed me. So you showed me the message. I showed you after the fact. You were the first after the fact. Initially show him the group chat. I showed him what was said. Yes. But y'all was already talking about it. Exactly. It yeah. yeah. I showed him on the on the, on the episode. <laughs> from from when from chat. when you said something. I so went how you back knew about the group chat? I went back and I asked how you knew about the group chat? Cause Buffy, I was talking about it. Both of who? You brought it up. You said something about a group chat. I said. I went back to Quan and I asked him about the group chat. Trying to get well, him GD. to tell me about well, the group chat. That's why I asked for your Instagram. I mean, I you initially showed. You initially showed. I showed the message. Remember, when you showed me. I you did. initially showed yeah, me. You showed me. You showed me the group yeah, chat. But you knew about it before. Y'all had the group chat. You knew about it before. I didn't, I didn't bring it up. Okay. So we'll never know we'll who never started the group know. chat. Yeah. Who but told you about it? Who really showed you? I showed the mystery. But we do I have to move forward. forward. I showed the mystery. We do have to move forward. It's some issue. It's some snaky shit. Issue. You feel like it's some snaky shit? Yes, because nobody wants to own up to who showed the group chat. I know for a fact out of everybody that was in that motherfucking group chat, at least three of us didn't well, show I the group chat. Well, I know. I. And uh, wait, <laughs> hey, see, nobody I don't want to stand your feet, man. 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 I don't Quan about Please. the group chat, and that's what it was. When we but sat the next down, time, I shot the next time we all sat down, I did. I asked y'all, right. What was the group message? Because I didn't get into the messages story. I've because I didn't know. I didn't know. Who's covering up everybody's fucking cover? Hold on, hold on. Matt, when you seen, when you seen, when all this was going on, you seen the group chat, you seen on my 10 toes, bitch. I don't gotta see nobody nothing. I heard you got nine. But no, bitch, I got 10, I'll show you. And I'll stretch them. Well, when I was going on, Mac, you seem unbothered, but you have people talking about your looks. Do you really not care? I mean, no, I really don't care about nobody talking about looks because, I mean... Who do you, do you find anybody on the cast the ca- uh, attractive? Circling the stage, I mean, I'm top two and I'm not two. I'm top one, so I was gonna so, say, man, you're I the beat one. Top number one. I, was I like, am beat. I don't know who to. I am beat. Like, so who do you think? It, who do you think it after you? It is. 
You just know you number one. Yeah. Are you? I, I already know. I'm, Do I'm, taking, I'm with, taking number one spot. You, you number for one? Shit show. Do y'all think he number think one? Number one. For shit show. I think I'm number one. I can give you. Facts. I can give you top five, but I won't give you. Oh, baby, six. Oh, we wouldn't give you top ten. You won't give who top ten? You. I mean, you. And you think he, Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. It's all there. Yeah. All this. Yes. And Glenn, do you think that he's top one? I wouldn't give him number one, but I would definitely give him top five. Cool. <laughs> Heard worse from better. <laughs> but you still said what you said. Heard worse from better. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Me. It's moving on. I can't even argue with that, but you know. Okay. You can feel how you feel. Okay. I'm still tired. Moving on. Everyone has their opinion. Okay, moving so we're moving on. This season, we've had some heartfelt moments from insecurities, failed relationships, and awful situations. Check out some unseen footage. Arlington police are investigating the death of a person found inside a car at an apartment complex. This was around 9.30 Thursday night at the apartments on Stone Trail Circle near North Collins Street. The Tarrant County Medical Examiner identified the victim as Kier LaPrice Solomon of Dallas. Friends and family tell police Solomon was a transgender female. We are investigating the shooting death of a transgender woman found sitting in her own car. 21-year-old Kier Solomon was found at an apartment complex on the city's north side. And as Jason Allen reports, police say they have no strong leads in the case just yet. The Bloom release was real beautiful. I feel like everybody came out, everybody supported it. It showed how much love Kier had in the community. I feel like now we just need to keep her name alive. I have several different things I do struggle with. Um, first, it would be um, loneliness um, and depression. Like, I back. Um, a couple of years ago, I struggled so hard with depression um, to the point that I wanted to, you know, kill myself. Um, it's something that um, I'm kind of like picking up the pace with and just trying to uh, move on slowly. For me, it would have to be procrastination. Right? I'm a big procrastinator. And I feel like I be having all the time in the world and you know, time doesn't wait on anyone. My struggle has been, um, it's gonna sound cliche and shit, but like, self-worth and um just not everything is my fucking fault in life i think i struggle with my anger and my emotions i let my emotions take over me and it turns to anger and sometimes i gotta realize every i don't have to react to everything so solo where were you when the news broke about kiara i was on my way to work how did you feel? What did you, your instant th thought was to stop or what, what happened? Honestly, I didn't know how to feel. I was kind of like shocked. I was, I don't know, it was like a weird feeling. How close were you guys? It was real close. Like somebody I call every day. Now with her passing, how do you feel like you are doing something to keep her name alive? Or are you like trying to be more advocates about um, trans lives being killed? I mean, it's always. You know, I don't know. It's a touchy subject, so I don't really like get into my feelings with that. But I mean, I how do you, I miss her, so. how does everybody else feel about the situation as far as like trans lives and uh, just LGBTQ lives in general? I feel like it's important. I feel like it's something that we need to touch bases on. I feel like next season that's something that we're gonna dive into. We're gonna try to you know, be more advocate and more supporting towards everything that's going on as far as the LGBTQ community and all. And all. So just be expecting it. As far as me, uh, it's always going to be a touchy subject to me because you just really never, you just really never know. And you always, and, and like, I know, like me, I always grew up thinking like, oh, well, I'm gay. So, you know, nothing, nothing harmful can happen towards me. Mm -hmm. And like just hearing things like that of like, you know, dealing d dealing with people and they just take your life. That that really is touchy. So when I heard the story and I seen the clip of that, that really like brought me to tears because you just really never you you just really never know like. And I feel like I can hear like you a little bit more, Glenn, because we do have that balance between femininity and masculinity. When you're going out and being able to project or be who you, just who you are, mm -hmm. how do you have the confidence to just wear what you want to wear, have that personality, just give what you can like. I in a world that we live in. And in, in, in a way I, I am I am carefree because 
I really, I, I really just don't care. Like, I feel like I'm me. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I'm going to be myself. I feel like either people are going to respect it, they're going to accept it, or they're not. And I feel like if you don't accept it, that's okay because I still accept me. And I, and I still appreciate me. And I still love myself in my own skin. And I'm going to always be who I am. Absolutely. Like, as a person. So, I can't really... I feel like kind of trying to dumb it down or, you know, hide myself. It's like, it's being selfish towards me. Mm -hmm. Like, be comfortable in yourself. People are going to tell you for who you are, and if they don't, they just don't. Absolutely. Absolutely. And with just African American as a whole, we don't shine, shine, shed enough light, enough light on mental health. Mm -hmm. You know, you had experience and said you had to deal with depression, loneliness. How do you feel about that? Um, feeling, the feeling about depression and loneliness, um, the reason why I felt that way is because I came out at an early age and my father kind of like left me um, and put me to the past and didn't like, you know, want to like accept me for who I was. And at the end of the day, I know uh, when I close my eyes and it's all said and done, I'm still a man at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And um, he kind of like took that away from me and it kind of really like just made me ask a question like always like why? Like, why don't you accept me? I, I, at the end of the day, I'm still your child. I'm still your son. And why don't you accept me? Why don't you accept the things that I do in life? Um, at the end of the day, I still have to live this life. You yeah. don't have to live this life. So nobody can't live this life for me but mm -hmm. myself. Right. So, and that's what I kept on saying. And I always would cry myself to sleep asking why. Until my, it came up to my senior year where, you know, me and my dad kind of sat down. And he sat down with um, some older gay cousins that I have that's around his age. And he just got some, you know, knowledge and clarity of the situation. And he came back and talked to me, you know, and he was, like, really proud of me mm -hmm. um, and things like that. And actually, that I did come out, you know, earlier than later. And so that was one thing that kind of, like, really, you know, set me back and made me, like, in the state of depression where I wanted to always kill myself mm -hmm. um, because I felt like I was not wanted. Uh -huh. So that's, that's the one thing. But... You know, I'm in a better light now. You know, I've seen, you know, professional health and things like that. Oh, so, you good. know, I'm in a better better light. Does everybody else have support from their parents and just living, like, a different life? I wouldn't yeah. say a wrong life, but just a different life than others. I feel like being a masculine, like, a little bit more masculine than most um, LGBT people in my community, I feel like it's important to kind of, like, speak on it and, like, kind of bring awareness to the fact that it, it there are masculine men. There are men who show a little bit more masculinity or more a little bit more just value and being just a man in, in general mm -hmm. um i feel like it's important to talk about that i feel like we are here i feel like we should be seen i feel like it's something that everybody else should see it's important to talk about so uh, i definitely i agree. agree i gotta agree with what kwan say i mean it's definitely a stigma that's put on a community that um you know every like somebody looks at the community a, a certain kind of way and it's like, you know what I'm saying, everybody's different. Everybody's not the same across right, the right. board. So it's a different spectrum. I, you know what I'm saying? It's a different spectrum when it comes to everybody in the in the part of the community. To to what they say, uh what I always teach people out that's on the outside is gays come in different forms and shapes. Like, right. you know, we, we have this this stigma of like everybody's gonna be flamboyant, everybody's gonna be girly, everybody's gonna, you know, you know, portray themselves or wear prices and do things like that. And they come in all shapes and sizes like that's what I that's what I learned. And as far as what the US said, let my mom so rest peacefully. I am so glad that she accepted me for who I was and who that's I am. So that, that that is what also boosts my confidence up because it's like she allowed me to be who I am. And also with my dad, you know, I love him too. Like they just allowed me to be me. They know like I'm probably gonna come in here with a person one day and probably wear basketball shorts the next day. Like that's just like it just all depends on my mood. So I appreciate just having that support within my family that I can just truly be who I am. Right. Right. Before everyone continues, I want to say one thing. When my family found out about my sexuality, I actually got sent to a fucking Christian school, man. And believe it or not, in a private Christian school, I met more gay people than I did in a straight, uh, not straight, a public school setting. So... Aww. It really is an eye-opening experience, like you guys say, to understand that there are different gays where not Most everyone definitely. has to be flamboyant. Most definitely. Like, I tell my little sister, man, like, just growing up, these people, they out for themselves. Most like, definitely. there's no real love. Like, it, it's unfortunate, it's sad, but this shit's real. And is either you're going to listen to the shit or you're going to 
run for the shit, get caught up in the shit. Right. So you gotta find your own way. You gotta figure you out gotta, who you are. You, you gotta have to separate your yourself way. from what you want. What you want to be doing, just not only now but these. in the future. Like you right. gotta really figure out like who you are and what you want in life, and not get sucked into the whole. The gay lifestyle and what's right. going but on. But it's dangerous to this lifestyle too, and that's what they and that's what they and that's what they don't that's that's what they don't explain to you when when you come to terms with right. with the gay lifestyle. Like they don't they don't tell you that that one moment you may feel like oh I want to transition. Maybe one day you probably feel like oh I want to be a drag. I, I want to get up and drag. And <laughs> I even had like my stages where I wanted to be a woman where I wanted to transition. But right. that's just not me. Sometimes I do want to dress film. Sometimes like, I do want to dress like a guy. Like it just <laughs> all depends on the mood. But right. like a, like again you have the outside. Where they just always put everybody into this one box. One box. One fucking like, box. You just supposed to be. Like, I gotta be like this every yeah, day. Yeah, it's, it's like, just right. like. Bitch, I want a table like, defines like, everybody. No, that's I not the do case. I don't yeah. know. It's just like, just, just allow people to be who they are. Like, gay, right. like. It, it, it's a lot. Like, like I feel like I feel like as as a gay man myself, it's a lot of pressure put on, put on us because they feel like you have to be a certain way. If you're going to be this person, then you have to do this all the time. It's no way that you could be this way right. one, one time and then you're going to switch up. It's and just like, say, yeah. allow me to be who I want to be because you can allow yourself to be who you want to be. Like, right? Just and nobody me, questions. And nobody and, questions it at all. But when it comes down to us, it's like. Why do you do this? Mm-hmm. Uh, Why do you want to be like this, this way? Yeah. But then one day you want to be like this. It's, it, it, it's crazy. It's bullshit. We want to welcome back Dior. How did you feel about that? Was like a touchy subject yeah, for you? It definitely was a touchy subject for me. Um, and I just had to let my tears out. No, I think it's a healing moment when you can be vulnerable with, you know, people who care about you, people, yes. and then also have that platform to tell people who are dealing with it, who are not as strong as you, how to deal with it, how to cope. So we do thank you guys for being as vulnerable for the LGBT community because we need our stuff told in it because we're all coming different light, shades, right. forms, fashions. We're one. So, Definitely. And with that, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Wait is over. It's season five, bitch. <laughs> with new faces. I'm trying to do like different things with my life. Uh-huh. So maybe now that we have a stylist in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Where was Rico with the K? Where was Drew Friday? She wasn't invited. Girl, I don't give a fuck about that rainbow wearing asshole. I just hate how Cameron trying to Google his way. What okay. you're doing is stepping okay. in some shit that has nothing to do it's, with you. I'm speaking facts. Are you defending for your friends? That's what I was doing. Aaron Thomas is very to himself. Well, I want to hear from you because everything we find online might not be true. It's been hard, like, trying to catch my feet. Nobody else pipe no up, bitch. Pipe up first. It's a real All oh, y'all hoes ain't about shit. I just want to feel like... I got more than ant. Nobody makes music like that. Who's gonna look for Kendra? Well, you don't think there's a lot of other trans women going through the same thing you're going through? Atlanta is back, reclaiming Wednesday nights. Hold the fuck up! Hold up! This spring on Chasing Reality. Your friends are boring. Are they going to like you? Malcolm came in spicy with no shortcomings along with his dog. Let's check out this clip on how he <laughs> meshed with the group, or did he? Hell yeah. yeah. You single? No. <laughs> uh, why you, why, what, what was the face for after that? I don't know. Cause, you know, people here, you're in a relationship, they all read, automatically like categorize you and like just put you in a box. But like, we're not open or anything. But, you know. No, wait. No, we're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I left that open for like. It's all going to be there. Oh, a little everybody. You know. Are they going to be like you? Huh? Are they gonna be like you? What you mean? Are they gonna be like me? That's a very broad question. Are they yeah. going to be like you? Meaning, are they going to be like you? No. Okay. What do you mean they're gonna be like me? I was trying to figure out what the fuck he meant by that. Like, what you trying to say? But, so, can I bring <laughs> my dog? No! Okay. This is not a dog show. Yeah. But I thought it was. I can put you on a leash. How you doing? Hey. hey. It's my friend, Malcolm. So, oh, I actually okay. not to bring his dog. I'm going to say for like two minutes. Just for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's going to be for me, to be honest. Why not? Why do you say that? Your friends are boring. <laughs> 
And I mean that respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> and Malcolm mentioned that my friends were boring. All I could do is really respect his opinion. You know, it's nothing more than an opinion. I typically like the girls. If I didn't like the girls, I wouldn't have fucked with the girls this long. But he says he don't like them. That's fine with it. Okay, you guys. Yeah, um, uh, with what is his name again? I don't forgot his name. Malcolm. Malcolm. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I was like, who? Right. Who? How, on a scale of one to ten, what do y'all rate him? Three. Two. Zero. Zero. Two. 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 I give three. him a good three. Four. Three. Fanny, that was your friend. How do you feel about him with the negative I'm look? So the, the group don't really like him. Shit. Oh my god. Were you dating him at the time? Nope. Was he one A, B, you or know, C? You and C I'm going to clear that up. I'm so sorry. Um, can I say one thing, guys? I want to let y'all know I never met any of y'all till the day of filming. <laughs> right? We know that. Okay, okay. Me. okay. stick to your story. Oh, so that's your story. You stick that's to my it. story. I'm sticking to it. Period. So you met Malcolm the day of filming? I'm sticking to it. Oh, okay. Well, Malcolm is here. I'm just like, I'm like, bitch, what? Malcolm is here. He's in there. 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 He's in Way he could have brought the dog in my house, but since I'm cool with dogs, he would have been holding that bitch like you. Like you so that seeing that, seeing that this whole season you was very spicy, very like on the next. Why did you not like buck up at uh, um, Malcolm? The only reason why one it, it's because you know he showed up, he came, okay. and then I did invite him. You know, okay. I told him he was invited. So that was one thing, and then I didn't want him standing outside. You know. For people to say, you know, I'm rude. He had to catch like a that. flight, though. He did have to get to the airport. He did have to catch a uh, flight. So, and so I did tell him, don't bring the dog. But, you know, he showed up with so, the dog anyways. And, he's, and so he said he wasn't going to be there, you know, but a split second. So, <laughs> right. it's like, okay. How long do you, you know, say? Just, come on. Um, maybe like two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So, though, although Malcolm said that the group was boring... Why were you not engaging with him at the party? You seem like you was like a little standoffish with him. I was engaging with him at the party. So you he think said he said cool? my boots is my boots is cute, and I said I know. <laughs> <laughs> you, had on, you had on boots at the pajama party, girl. Well, my uh, pajama boots. Did you think his outfit was cute? What? Oh, <laughs> oh. Ooh, he is done for the day. And also, okay, do anybody feel like he give off this vibe that he doesn't want to be around? Are you being yeah, forced? Like, Are you being forced like to be on the show? I is, I think Are you being forced to be on the show? No. I'm just chill. I like, feel I like... I don't, I don't got to do too much. You got to do too much. Okay. <laughs> okay, cute. Okay, okay go girl, ahead, Glenn. What would you say? I feel like with Solo... Solo just be... Just like Fanny. They both be spaced out. So mm. it's like, you just never know what you're going to get with what them. Like, right. I feel like it... If it's not my business, like or like, it don't really be too much for me to say. Right, right. You just stay in your lane. Yeah, then, yeah. Unless okay. a bitch come, like then we gonna do that. As a new person coming into the group, I definitely think it was kind of hard uh, getting adjusted to everyone, and so I think Malcolm was kind of like in the same spot. Just trying to get to know everybody. Trying to get to every- know everybody. He really kind of didn't know the dynamic of what he was getting himself into. I thought he had lots to say it. though, so you warranted. The reads you warranted all that because it was you had like the reads. I mean, but that's what you very, gotta like, do. Okay, this like, bitch look, watch that's it. What like, bitch very, watch it. Like, for me to uh, watch it. Like, tread lightly. <laughs> tread lightly. <laughs> but okay. like, come on, like. It's like, hey, come on, you can still come. Like, with trying to get the with Dior, Fanny, I feel like there was, like, a little bit of... I know you were trying to find, like, love. Do you have a thing for Dior? Because that's what it kind of gave off. Bitch, <laughs> no. She got a <laughs> thing for everybody. When oh, she drunk, girl. When she drunk, she are we really going to go there? I, no. We're going okay, to no, keep okay, it cute. Keep have it y'all had any moments? No. Okay. No. It's in the Girl! Y'all had something in San Antonio? What happened to San Antonio, man? 
What happened? Girl, since you know it, I mean, I was in the same I bed. I mean, I was in the same bed. I was in the same bed. I didn't know it was the room, yeah. bitch. Y'all be lying. Was so y'all shared a bed in San Antonio? They did. We they shared did. a bed. What was it between did. us in that bed? A pillow. Thank you. Oh, okay. Was it? Yes. It was. Oh, the whole time? The yes. whole time. A pillow. Girl. Girl, would you would you ever give 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 you a chance? Is he is he your type? No. Is Dior your type? Yeah. Girl, she not she didn't. See, y'all play too much. I really don't be meaning to go there, but y'all really be trying. I really be trying to be cool and respect her. Okay, Quan, so, you better oh, wait, say, I don't know. Quan is more your type. No, that's not what we was over here. That ain't. That ain't. That ain't no. Okay, no. let's do it. Look, let the people know. That's not what we was over here kidding about. We was laughing at something totally Okay, different. Dior, why did you feel like you ran Malcolm Miles? Do you feel like you ran Malcolm Miles? Did he have a film with y'all after that moment? No. I never met him. Never met who? I never met Malcolm. She never met Malcolm. Oh, yeah. She's talking about we were born. That bitch was born. You showed up to the party. Yes, you did meet Malcolm. I did not meet Malcolm by the time I got to the party. Oh, no, Malcolm she was wasn't gone. there. She wasn't there. Really? Malcolm, Malcolm had did a 30 second moment. Good animal. Okay. Did you meet Malcolm at? Born as no, I never, I never, I never, I never met Malcolm either. I never got to meet Malcolm either. So Malcolm, we're gonna say sashay away. Bye, Nick. We miss <laughs> y'all, but we don't love you. Next time on Rookie. Fuck everybody else on the set. Who showed you the group chat? Good. Girl, let that shit go. No, 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 no. You said I was like a drug addict. You sent me the crackhead for Friday, if I'm not mistaken. You are the one who said, it was me, it was me, it was me. But you was being a mean girl, and you was doing all that, and I told you doing too much. Like, you doing girl too much, win. and a bitch give you what you get. Now we don't got your back. So zebra, monkey, whatever was said. Meeting someone new in today's world is not easy. We make split second decisions about love with the flick of the wrist. So here we are in Dallas, Texas, not with one, but two handsome, sophisticated, accomplished bachelors who is ready to find a perfect someone. What's up everybody, I'm back. Hey, what's up, my name is Lionel, I am 30 years old. So last time y'all saw me, I was the lover. And then out of nowhere, we went ghost. Clearly, they don't know how to find the right one. So we've teamed up with the best friends to try to help them find that one. Let's just say, genetically he was not blessed with it as I observed. Why would you ask me if I slept with my, what was like best friends, husbands, cut, some, some, some BS. This time around, we have more challenges, more dates, and most important, you get to hear what the single guys have to say. Okay. Why would you ask somebody that the first thing you like first thing out your mouth? Like that is so like it's not cute and it's so uncouth to me. Can he eat something else besides just tomato? Cause that's all he I gave him actually. That tomato was really strong. Okay. In the end, only Dennis and Lionel can decide their fate on if they find another lover or a friend. I'm gonna let him know that I'm choosing him and hopefully he's receptive, hopefully on the same accord. It wasn't as bad, but I ain't doing that yoga shit no more. Hope you're ready because this is, is Lovers, Lovers and Friends. friends. <laughs>